not only did Donald Trump win, but Kamala Harris got shellacked. They, they've doubled down on stupid. Hello, I'm that Bob Sands guy. Well, it's over. The 2024 presidential election has a winner. The Fox News decision desk can now officially project that Donald Trump will become the 47th president of the United States. There was a concerted effort by the Dems to bring out all that hip celebrity talent. So here's a little Bruce Springsteen for you. Well, I'm just about starving tonight. I'm dying for some action. Well, nevertheless. Kamala Harris got shellacked. Now, for those of you who may not know it, there was a time when listening to Bruce Springsteen sing didn't make your ears bleed. We'll get to Sean's comments in a few moments, but first I want to show you the contrast at the venues where the candidates waited for the results. There was West Palm Beach, Florida, where Donald Trump made his remarks. Frankly, this was, I believe, the greatest political movement of all time. There's never been anything like this in this country, and maybe beyond. And then Howard University in Washington, D.C., where it was being announced to the faithful that Kamala Harris was not going to show. We still have states that have not been called yet. We will continue overnight to fight to make sure that every vote is counted. So you won't hear from the vice president tonight, but you will hear from her tomorrow. Something I really want you to see is the atmosphere of the two crowds, the Patriots in West Palm Beach and the Democrats at Howard University. In Washington, D.C., you now see them turn as one to start to leave the grounds. Um, they're letting the, the crowd assembled there but for the Harris campaign and for um, in, in support of Vice President Harris, letting everybody know that she's not going to be speaking on any subject. That was pretty sad. I remember the feeling four years ago when we realized that the whole thing was a big uh, disappointment, let's just say. You have to be careful. I don't want to get thrown off of YouTube on my second video. Now let's consider the futurists. Sean Spicer speculates on what the Democrats have in store and what they learned from this election cycle. Now, Trump the dictator, now that was Harris's big claim, right? He's a Hitler fan, he's a tyrant, his uh, democracy is under threat. The media ran with that too, most of it. Uh, Trump is now going to prove that is a lie. He won't be a dictator. That's going to expose a lot of people. Do you expect some serious soul searching in the Democrats or in the media? Because he, he, people aren't going to buy this kind of rubbish second time round. I hope not. I think, as I said, the Democratic Party, it will be interesting to see whether or not it's, it's real or not. I was at the Republican National Committee when in 2012, after we lost, we did a lot of soul searching. We looked at how we did business as a party and said, what can we do better to win? And I think um, despite some of the media misinterpretation as to what that report looked like, uh, we did. We talked about outsourcing and better utilizing third party organizations to do a lot of the mechanical and logistic thing. I think that paid off. Think about what's going on now in terms of the ground game. Uh, but secondly, um, you know, you, you bring up the media. I was there in 2016 after the election when senior executives from NBC News admitted that they missed it and said that they were going to correct it. I, I don't think they will. I think they had a chance to do it uh, after Donald Trump won in 2016 even after the election was close in 2020, they, they've doubled down on stupid. And I don't think that there's this election is going to be any different. I think they'll make excuses, uh, but they don't want to. They don't like Donald Trump. They hate Donald Trump. They hate people who support Donald Trump. Um, you saw that in the coverage leading up to them. There's no way that all these people who went all in, basically spreading this information, about where the race stood and the support that Donald Trump have are suddenly going to have a, a come to Jesus moment tomorrow. Not going to happen. I would have thought they'd be ashamed of misreading the electorate so badly. Oh, no, no, no. They, they, but anyway, they're that's not ashamed. Me. They'll come up with an excuse. They'll come up with it. They're not ashamed of it. They, they have no shame. They, they literally will wake up tomorrow and make an excuse up. And again, I think they'll be the first to figure out some country or outside entity or Martians that flew down and influenced <laughs> this election because it wasn't them for certain. 
So I suppose what we have to look forward to is four more years of Trump derangement syndrome by the Democrats as they continue to double down on stupid. This is going to be something. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and all that stuff. It means a lot to me. And I'm going to throw another one of my old music videos on the end here for you to enjoy. So have a good laugh. I'll see you soon. Coming to our stage is the king, the king of Biden sucks music. Let's give a warm Silkscreen Bobby TV welcome to Silkscreen Elvis. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, he does. <laughs> now tonight, thank you. Tonight, before I perform my latest 45 RPM single, recorded by the way in high fidelity stereophonic sound, there's something we need to do. So at this time, I would like you to remain standing, and I would like you all to take off your hats and place your hands over your hearts. That's right. Yeah, remain standing, please. I also don't want to see anyone out there taking a knee. So please turn your attention to the screen up here on stage behind me. And join me in paying respect to the symbol of our country, the country we love, the United States of America. Joy, you can turn the lights down. I'm gonna tell you something you don't know. It's the story of a man named Joe. He's the president of the USA. I've got something else to say I'm thinking Joe ain't gonna like this too much Joe is a traitor to this land He greets our rivals with an open hand They fill it with cash for what they pay He sells America's future away This man's a criminal I mean, this is bad Joe doesn't mind a wave of crime He has federal protection all the time While gangs of his voters roam the street Joe needs to find a toilet seat He hopes he can get there just in time Two minutes ago he was feeling fine The same thing happened just yesterday Clean up crews are on the way Atta girl, Jill Go put some baby powder on him Yeah, there you go, good boy You ain't nothing but a two-bit thug in a fancy suit Smiling and laughing as he steals the loot Selling out America around the world And sniffing on the hair of the little girls Hey Joe, hey creepy Joe You say you will when you won't You say you do when you don't You're a hot mess, creepy Joe he won four years in the White House job He trusts his son who's a filthy slob To represent in the foreign lands Cause ten percent lands in the big guy's hands Hey Joe, oh creepy Joe You say you will when you won't You say you do when you don't You're a hot mess, creepy Joe Stop at the ice cream stand To show the world he's a common man He likes the briars and the hog and dogs He says their chocolate is the best because It makes him sing and it makes him dance And Joe's prepared for the circumstance They knew what they were doing when they took the chance Joe's gonna need another pair of pants Hey Joe, 
Hey, Creepy Joe Well, they were taking a chance And now they're spooping his pants He's a hot mess, Creepy Joe Oh, Creepy Joe Oh, Creepy Joe You say you will when you won't You say you do when you don't You're a hot mess, Creepy Joe Yeah, hey, Creepy Joe Oh, Creepy Joe Oh, they were taking a chance and now they're spooping his pants You're a hot mess, Creepy Joe As usual, we're going to start you out with a song, a song in the style that I invented. It's called Biden Sucks Music. And today's song will be entitled Biden Sucks. And here it is. I wrote this one for you. I hope you like it. Well, it really sucks that the president sucks. Biden sucks. Biden sucks. Yeah, it really sucks that the president sucks. Biden sucks. Biden sucks. Ooh, Biden sucks. A total life of crime made him a millionaire. And every chance he gets, he sniffs a young girl's hair. In a game of wits with Putin, he don't stand a chance. He'll eat a bowl of ice cream and he'll poop his pants. Poop, 